tonight, I gotta go take care of my son. <laughs> Why they still let me have that right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my brothers, my sisters, and my siblings, <clears throat> we're here because somebody is trying to make it illegal for us to exist. That's not what he wants to say. That's not how he's going to say it. But what he's saying is, you should not be here. Right now, you should be somewhere other than the state of Arizona. There are 26,000 trans people in the state of Arizona. <clears throat> That's a lot of people that he's saying shouldn't be allowed to use the restroom, that we should all have our opinions of ourselves invalidated, that our knowledge of who we are and what we are is less important than the opinion of everybody else we engage with. And that's not just for the trans community, that's the whole community of Arizona. That's what he wants to say. He is saying that my being a woman is subject to the decisions and the judgment of somebody else who has 10 to 15 other things to do on any given day. If I walk into a, a McDonald's, the manager at McDonald's has a lot of things that he wants to look at or that she wants to deal with far before she wants to sit there and decide who's going to use which restroom based on how they look. Because that's what gender expression is. It is based on how you look. And I'm going to tell you something that a lot of people don't realize. If you are a black woman in this country, you can often be seen as a man or as masculine, and that's part of your gender expression or identity, whether you want it to be or not. So that means if your face is the wrong shape, <coughs> if your hair is the wrong style, you could be told you can't use either of those because you're too manly to be in the women's restroom and you're too womanly to be in the man's restroom. And so now here you are with your child in tow and you can't even go potty when you're trying to do something driving from one side of the country to the other to start a new life. Following that old maxim, go west, young person. <laughs> okay? This is Arizona. We are a crossroads. We have the ninth busiest airport in the country. Who, it has, who are we going to hire within the TSA to stand out in front of those restrooms and make sure that they're used properly? That's 40.5 million people. That's going to place our safety as air travelers at risk. All because they're afraid of us? Of us? Look at us. We aren't threats to anybody. Heck, if anything else, we're attacked more often than anybody else in this country. 91% harassment rates. 76% bullying rates in schools. We're talking homeless rates that are off the charts. The standard suicide rate within the United States of America is 1.6%. Within the trans community, it's 41%. That's enormous. That's huge. That's what this bill is saying is ha going to happen to us. I've had double the normal number of phone calls I get on a nightly basis from 6 to 10 to 15 to 25 in just five days because of the prior bill. And this one's going to make it even worse. No. No, this is about life and liberty and the pursuit of justice. This triumph of transness we have gathered here, this is all about liberty and justice for all. We're about making sure that this country and this state are equal with each other. We want them to understand that what they're saying is that we're not equal, that these people, that I should not be here. I'm a veteran of the United States Army. I fought for the freedoms that everybody in this country avows. And I've come back to the United States of America and I'm told now that I can't go potty. I'm told now that I can't be a woman. I just fought for the right of people to be women, to be men, to be both and neither. That's what I fought for. And now I'm being told that that, that, that service to my country, that risk to my life and limb, that, that is no longer important all because of who I am and what I am. I can't put up with that. That will not stand. It's un -American. That is un-American. That is against everything that Americans and Arizonans stand for. Dita Diaz. That's Arizona. And we're violating that with this law. Chairman Kavanaugh, if you want to know about trans people, come and see me. I am here anytime. I will answer any question. I will help you make better laws for more Arizonans. And what you're telling me is you don't want me here. That's my, thank you very much. <laughs>